What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So the runoff happened last time. Uh, we pretty much cleaned up the entire oh, American the continent. So the actual content, continental part that we're bothered about um, is ours. However, I'm going to have armies positioned ready to strike against the Prussian territories. So I do want to declare on Prussia um, to claim these regions. And the good thing is, if I declare on and right now, so if I declare on Prussia, they're allied with Quebec and Afghanistan. Afghanistan doesn't matter. Quebec I can destroy pretty easily because it'll just be Jamaica and the Windward Islands left. So if I declare on Prussia, that works. What I can't do is declare on Quebec because Quebec is at, allied with Austria, which obviously I don't want to fight. At least not yet, because they're so big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare on Prussia in a couple of turns. Because right now I've got this army under Carino Mendez sailing around uh, the northern flank to hit a rush in the rear. Then I've been thinking about what to do with uh, this army here. And what I want to do is I want to recruit them. When this navy's, when the, my full stack navy's back from up here... Sell them straight at the Baltic and smash straight into St. Petersburg and capture it. Capture the former Russian capital. <clears throat> I think that could be quite interesting. Um, that's my that's my main plan so far. And and almost just kind of let let factions declare on me, as and when they want to, because ultimately it's not really going to be. Much of a problem for me to uh, to win this campaign. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is just let Britain be Britain and not bother with them. Let Austria be them. Let Pro let Prussia be them. And eventually they'll 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 hate me enough to declare on me because Prussia right now is. I don't know. We're very friendly. That's true. Trade agreement and peace treaty. Well, they like us. That's fair enough. So my, my priority will be uh, Russia. And my research is cracking along, so let's just hit. End turn. Because right now, there's not a lot that can happen. So Quebec, no. They want to trade at a military alliance, and they want me to pay 25 grand for the privilege? I don't think so. Oh, just a sneeze. Sorry about that. And I've just realised how much money I've got in Mexico. Holy hell. That is a lot of dollar. Uh oh. Don't like where you're going with them. But yes. So all that investment as Mexico in my my trade has paid off handsome leagues. Right now I've got more money coming in to do with. Quick lime shells, which is excellent. Clamour for reform. Yeah, you didn't like me because I moved this army out, or an army out. So in you go. Good. My Iceland base is on is being invested in. Good. Yes, yeah, so this this where this whole area is kind of a bit on. Uh, oh, I don't like what you're doing up here. You trying to go for one of my northern territories? So let's get a regular general's bodyguard. Some Mexican household cavalry. And then let's get some... There we go. Start getting some line, just in case they start acting up. Works on strike, but I've solved that. Works on strike in New Spain. Okie dokie. Tax free. Until Villa Hermosa is developed, the town which is we're really trying to develop all game. Uh, wait till Villa Hermosa is developed and then turn into a trade school. I don't need the tax. 60,000 a turn. Yeesh. That's a lot of spices. And I've effectively smashed the spice price down through the floor. So don't bother with... You don't got quick climb. Don't bother with percussion. Go for platoon firing to get increase in uh, trained level for my infantry units, because that's, that's pretty handy. 
Yeah, so these guys have been recruited for my Portuguese force. And so the reason why, well, I want my um, full stack back, well, my full stack navy back, just in case I get into any trouble going through the Baltic. Let's drop them off here. <gasps> the Russians are here. What? Okay. So you come back and you hit the Baltic then. That's going to be the plan, I think. Because that's way too many than they should have in a backwards region like that. Go hit St. Petersburg instead. Yep, still can't trade. So what I'm going to do, what I want to do... Oh. Do I send them on a raiding mission of the Barbary States? It's tempting, but at the same time, they're not doing anything to me. Like, I'm clean with the Barbary States. Savoy and Genoa they don't like. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, hmm. I think the only thing to do is to just keep ending turns. Because right now there's not a lot that can be can be done. I mean, I could I could light the tinderbox of fighting France, of fighting Prussia. Sorry, but I would like to have a foothold in Europe before I do that. So I can hit and turn again. Oh, I maintain siege for now. But I'd like to have a foothold in Europe. I'd, I'd like to be, have captured a large territory before I set off the tinderbox that is the Prussian War. And it's interesting, so while that wouldn't bring... Well, yeah, while that wouldn't bring um, Austria into it, it would mix things up quite a lot. So if I can hit... There you are. That's, <clears throat> that's what ideally what I wanted, them to be back across the river. Um, oh, yeah, they're sallying out. Let's do it. Sorry, Native Americans. Um, so if I go uh, those two regions, I'd knock out the Quebec regions in the Caribbean, and then I'd out the... Um, take Copenhagen. Take the key to the Baltic Seas. Have some, some scuffles on their territory. Oh no, trees? Trees are exactly what they want. To hide in. Still, it never usually matters very much. Oh yeah, we've, we've actually I'm actually a bit lopsided on my deployment, so I can deploy forward of the trees. Good. Why is it not going to deploy like that, just as a... So deploy like that. That's what I want. There we go. And take... You guard in the right, the left sorry, you guard the right. You get horse guards in the protection, you get a lancers in the center, general in the center. And now we've got the, the all powerful quick lime, quick lime howitzers. Smashing. Let's stretch you guys out. Oh, 
for a native artillery has just got annihilated. Retreat. Yeah, fair enough. You've just lost 13 of your buddies in the first opening salvo. So this is your town. Sorry everyone, it's about to be claimed by the Great Mexican Empire. So I'm going to move my horse guards over here. Okay, first quick climb shots of the campaign. Oh, that hidden unit just got pasted. Wonder what other hidden units there are. There you go, they finally got within range of this howitzer. They're going for the, the general, mounted tribal gunners. Another hidden unit. I should spend time making them fire round shot, but holy hell, quick climb is just so effective. Oh, we're in a bit of a defilade. <coughs> Let's run the horse guards over. Only when these guys crest the hill will they actually be in range of my Fusileros. But they've very nicely got within range. These guys are going straight for my guns. War society, that's not very good. Moving closer. I could lose howitzers to this, but I could lose artillery to this, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal. bodyguard because and they are gonna chew through them so these guys need to hurry up and fire into the rear of that that combat yeah they're breaking yeah they're gonna hit my guns This is what the native factions do. Is they roll up your flank like this. If I lose my howitzers, that's fine. So redeploy. Let's 
redeploy. Alright, suicide quick climb into them. into him. Let's pull my Lancerors back and I want them to hit this unit of Warrior Society. Okay, go back in, charge back into them. So let's see what damage this does. Yeah, that's how you do it. We're using chemical warfare. I use my president to take care of them. The general is in difficulty. He sure is. There's a whole load of natives trying to kill him. Lancer us back. I want them to hit the Native American bowmen. It's quite a successful redeployment though. I think we should be okay. Nail my general out of the way. But yeah, so that's how the Native American factions, factions can be so devastating. When they hit one of your flanks and they just roll it out. But if you could redeploy successfully then you're probably going to be fine. See, Native American warriors aren't a massive problem because their regular infantry isn't so great. Oh god, okay, it's time to get a fight back. What is that? Let's go round shot, try to snipe their general. And let's turn around, we've got to go in, got to engage these. Native American bows, there comes the chief's bodyguard. Just to form a series of squares. So you, you and you. Instead do this. So devastating. 
Oh no! These guys, in order to shoot with the bowman, shot into my own lances. That was pretty beautiful, though. Bring them around. Holy moly, this is a lot more bloody than I thought. Stop it, Bowman! For the love of God! Finally, yeesh. Form protective little squares. Come on, Chief. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to speed this up now. Because I'm probably going to get a couple of blasts of quicklime. Yeah, can't really quicklime anyone. But that's cool about how all the square formations fire at once. God, heroic victory. That was. Could have been a major problem. But it wasn't. Oof. See, you still could more than them, and I've still got the numbers advantage, but... No. You kill all my men, then you ask for peace. This can never happen. Population growth in this region has been sufficient for a new town to emerge. This growth is linked to a balance of... Food. Enough of that. So where's my new town? There it is. Craft workshop. Two new farms. New town, which I've sorted. But the big thing is to take this guy. Smash him straight into St. Petersburg. Ooh. 600, 500. Oh, it's just a regular city assault, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Maintain for now. Ooh, experienced line infantry unit. That's pretty neat. Let's get my... I suppose to get my navy out of here, but I want to actually keep them there. Just in case they need to fall back. So let's get a sloop. I'm pretty sure I'm friendly with enough people here that I can just slide my way through and then either hit the Crimean Carnate. Yeah, I think that would be a good plan. So the tech's okay. You're doing classic Wealth of Nations. Good. Top over to you. Grade the university. Which I know you'll hate me for, but at the same time, it's manageable. Hmm. Thirteen turns now for Villa Mosa. If I have to, I'll destroy the. If I have to, I'll destroy the the university. Hope I won't have to, but if I have to, I will. All right, let's hit in turn. Let's try to get a, a turn of attrition out of them. No, stop asking me or demanding I trade you money. <gasps> uh, no. I like Portugal. Portugal is valuable. Feel free to sail over and catch someone else's territory. We are friends, you and me. We have common aims. Mm, it's not great. Ah, the Marathas. Are the Marathas coming for Iceland? I think they are. So I think I'm going to have to head them off. Not that I particularly want Iceland, but... I don't want them to have it. Oh, God. Defending against the force of Plains Nations once more. Conservative. Let's 
let's get cracking. Oh, and it's raining. My artillery has to do work. You've got nowhere to put your horses, that's why you looked funny. So let's take. Good. Yeah, quick climb. Toggle fire at will. God, this is a rather neutered force. So probably, probably those two next to each other. Engage them with round shot at maximum distance. Okay, let's triple speed it. Okay, so shrapnel shot is much nearer. So you guys are going to start firing off round shot. Okay, let's get you onto quick lane almost immediately. Let's get you guys onto shrapnel shot. And just start pounding away at, pounding away at the infantry. Then let's just hope my mechanical warfare of all of my howitzers can save the day. There we go. Oof. It's been a lot smoother. <laughs> they're the ones to shoot, Fusileros. You've got you're aiming at the wrong people. But they're not, thankfully. Their 90th regiment of foot. Good. Mass route. So let's get these guys back on the round shot. Back onto pummeling on the na pummeling the native artillery. Good. Let's get my howitzers to hit the chief's bodyguard. Because they're coming straight from my ch straight from my howitzers. Not this time. This is the chief. Ooh. Oh, you are. Ah, oh, I suppose he was blessed. He was not. Ooh, 
please come closer. Hit him. Oh, thank God, that went a lot smoother. Oof. G. Yeah, that's more like it. 13 losses to 530 kills. Uh oh. They're on to me. Oh, opportunity to intercept. Yes. Ah. But I guess I'm going to fight it. <laughs> Whew. But yes, it was an opportunity, it was an opportunity to uh, whittle down the Russian garrison without provoking their mortars into action. Ooh, I'm in a town as well. That's not ideal. Don't know fighting in towns. So let's get you all out of the way. Do I fortify the town? I think I could do. Well. No, no, no. It doesn't provide me with many good fields of fire. Then again, my spawn position's a bit... naff. I think I'm probably going to need to deploy deploy slightly ahead. So let's take Their firing arcs will be slightly blocked. But them's the brakes, I suppose. And the flanks will be two elite units and a fusilier unit. Then each side gets a unit of household cavalry, and the general is near the centre, town centre. Good, their reinforcements did not screw me over. Charge in into their cavalry immediately. Oh no, don't worry. Fire it will. I thought they were going to charge my cannons. So, Fusiliers, where are you? So there's one. Place stakes. Fusiliers, place stakes. Horse, horse, horse. Absolute destruction. God, that's a massive line of stakes. God, fusiliers are brilliant. Let's get them the hell back into cover. Look at my entire flank has just got a line of stakes now. So when they next charge me, holy moly. Oh, 
Oh dear. Lizny Novgorodsky, Regiment of Foot. You're going to get chewed up by quick life shot. So let's make you tip them. It goes on the left here. That unit. They're going to die from musket fire alone. Devastating. What are these guys? Missed, but if they hit, that would be devastating. The bodies will be fertilized with the with dead Russians. Ooh, straight over your head. Damn near. But here comes all the East these East European infantry mercenaries. They're pretty cool. So it looks like they want to push the left. Push my right, sorry. It's not going to work. Because I've just got superior infantry in position. Oh, wow, that should have been pretty good. Yeah, that was. You're going to form line. Horse Grenadier Guards coming in. Hopefully, well, they might trigger everyone to shoot at them, which is I, I, I would accept, I think. Ah, oh, you have militia charging in through the houses. Suicide rush mission. Okay, it's round shot the demi cannons at the back because you won't get a good angle on them. So my right hand most howitzers fire at them because they're swarming us. That's because they're targeting the Grenadier Guards, they're not fire by firing by rank. Ooh, if you want to charge my line infantry guards. You are just militia. Oh, go on, get your muskets. Get your your muskets reloaded. Oh, they reformed. Fire. Some of them are still ready to go. Wheel the flank back. Deploy the household cavalry. There you go. These, these should be light horse. Yeah, they are. Whereas my horse guards will just chew them out. Walk into the stakes. A few dead horses. Oh, 
And they're engaging this unit over here, the militia unit. you past stakes, you probably break up and die or something like that. No, they're just out of range for quick lime, so may as well make them target the right hand flank. Deploy the Hustle Cavalry into the Nizhny Nov Novgorodsky Infantry. Make sure to retarget all of my quick climb. There you go, before they think about coming back. My cat, my quick line shoot in the center. It's not a, not good enough to shoot at. Um, like it's not in the right position, but at the same time, it will uh, help decrease fratricide. That we can farm a bit of experience with my with my horse guards. So you go out, knock out the unit of demi cannons. Triple speed this one now. Pause. There you go. Can you charge them? Or not, if you decide not to. Definitely continue. No, oh, these get. Where's my. Where's my actual infantry troop gone? I think it's just gone, so it's garrison militia all the way. Oh, they see you. They see you, boys. They're going after you. Chop, chop, chop. Got him. Now it's just... Couple of hundred guys this time. They are going to make it though. There you go. As soon as they see competition for kills from another cavalry unit, then off they go. Oh yes, the militia run away from the from the edge of the map, battle map. Oh no, they might make it. Oh, they're going to make it. It happens, but it was a decisive victory. Capture this region and build walls there quickly enough. So let's push them back. Ah, oh, dang, I forgot about that Maratha stack. I think it's going for... No way, no I haven't. unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow. Okay. Sail this way. So where are they? Where have they gone? Hmm. Let's be safe for a bit then. Okay. 
recruitment is good. Ah, oh, ah, oh, dang! I feel like this guy. Let's move him. There are up. currently no troops stationed. Fair enough. We don't need to have four people stationed at Fort Drummer. The Plains Nations have been destroyed, but they maybe pay for it. Holy moly! All right, let's get some investment going on here. They go industry building, farm, fur trapper post, upgrade the roads. They'll love it. Region captured the Black Hills. Smashing, but looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.